Hey guys, Coach Highway from Game Leap here, and today I'll be going over a solid character for your duo to play or pick up to allow you to play off of each other and win more games in ranked based off of what your main is. Note that a lot of characters in OW have solid options for duos, and the most important thing is that you are both playing a character you're good at, but at least this list will hopefully give you some ideas on some stuff you maybe didn't think of before. One more thing, the format of this video may get a bit strange, since for example I may say Ana will pair well with Genji, and when I get around to Genji I may say he pairs well with Tracer. This is just because I want to give as many options as possible, and while one character may be best for another, the reverse might not always be true. Regardless, the best thing you and your duo could do is come and check out our new website. We post all kinds of phenomenal content on there for you to learn from and improve your game sense. We already have dozens of videos recorded and we'll be pushing out more steadily every single day, so don't miss out and let's get back to the list. We are going to go alphabetically from start to finish and we are not going to break this up by role like usual. Okay, first up on the hero list is going to be Ana, and Ana is super synergistic with many different heroes because of how powerful her ultimate is. However, the best hero to play off of not only her ultimate but her other abilities is going to be Genji. Genji's ultimate combos extremely well with Ana's and his mobility allows him to follow up on big anti-grenades for easy fight wins. Be sure to communicate and be sure to keep your ultimates all synced up. Ash is next on our list and a good Ash is made significantly better by a good Mercy. Mercy allows for Ash to deal a ton of extra damage from her dynamite and provides her with some much appreciated sustain to maintain her high grounds for longer. This is one of the oldest known duos to overwatch and it's honestly a great one. Bap is next and Baptiste fits particularly well with mid rangers who stand next to him to form a strong backline. My suggestion is soldier due to their ability to heal each other and combine ultimates for a lot of power that can catch an enemy team off guard. Bastion is not in the game right now, but when he is a sigma can be a great assistant for Bastion due to his shield and healthy amount of damage mitigation, allowing him to help the Bastion push and to keep himself safe. Brig is up next and I found that she pairs well with close range heroes like Reaper who benefit from her nice AoE healing and can push with her rally to do a lot of damage. She otherwise doesn't have that many synergy heavy abilities or traits, so she can kind of fit okay with most heroes. Cassidy's up next, and Lucio can be a really strong duo due to Lucio's ability to speed the Cassidy for much needed mobility and push enemies off of him. When cast high noons as well, a speed boost can help him chase down and secure tons of picks with an otherwise kind of bad ultimate. Diva's mobility and high damage makes her pair extremely well with any close range character. She can help clean up kills and combo with someone like a Sombra to dive and burst down tanks or squish she's alike. Just follow up your Sombra's hacks with your missiles and her damage output. Doom pairs extremely well with Ana due to her ranged heals, being able to support him as he flies in deep, and her nano gives him some much needed buffs to both his overall tankiness and his damage when he commits to a fight. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, sorry, next hero is Echo. Echo's flight makes her a dangerous pusher, and her damage can really be accentuated by a Mercy Beam. Mercy allows her Echo to play way more aggressively and helps her secure kills that she might not have gotten without the Mercy. This duo is is certain to get you flamed by the enemy team by the way so be warned every time i do this without fail i get a ton of hate from the match chat next up is genji and genji's best pairing is without a doubt ana but since we already covered this pairing he also goes extremely well with monkey monkey's bubble and mobility let him open engages for the genji and give him some great protection which allows him to stay in the fight for longer next is the other shimada bro hanzo and he pairs very well with zarya due to their ult combination grab dragon this can punch through a lot of healing even provide the necessary damage to melt the Lucio beat and it makes him a pretty potent combo for winning consistent fights. Even without dragons, Hanzo can land easy headshots into a good grab and he can also provide a lot of spam damage which helps Zarya's break shields. Next is Drunker Queen and she can be a real nuisance to fight when she has a Mei partner. Her knife pull can drag enemies forward and allow for really easy walls to separate from the Mei and walling off an enemy team prevents them from running out of range of Queen's ultimate or her axe swing. The two can be a powerful close range pair. Next up is Junkrat, and Junkrat doesn't have many spectacular synergies sadly, so I'm putting Zen here since the two of them can put so much spam and pressure on the enemy team that it can be a really difficult backline to push into. Closest other thing would be Zarya so that he can spam into Graviton Surge and do a ton of damage, but that's really just about it. Next is Kiriko and she is a bit of a monster. Her ability to dash and help whoever at a moment's notice makes her a really good pick in general, but I personally love her interaction with Soldier 76. 
Her Suzu lets her grant them both immunity when they get low, and if they're in a heal pad, they can suddenly have a lot of burst sustain. Also, her ultimate combined with Soldier is ridiculous as he can quickly sprint around and do a stunning amount of damage. As for the next hero, Lucio, my personal favorite pairing is Reinhardt. Rein Lucio can be so brutal and ranked when the two of you work together to get the Rein close to just start cracking skulls. This combo can get a ton of value throughout the ranks, especially against slow teams who don't know how to easily react. Next up is Mei, and Mei pairs pretty well with Reinhardt, since his close range nature and his shield allows for her to be aggressive safely, and she can wall enemies off to trap them in Rein's range for easy kills. She is also particularly good at messing with enemy Reinhardts, which can make your Rein's matchup easier. Next up is Mercy, in my opinion is that Mercy's best pair is honestly Sojourn right now. Her high damage output makes Mercy's damage boost that much better, and her mobility allows for the Sojourn to easily get out of danger from divers trying to push the combo, and thus allowing the Mercy to dash after the Sojourn. Next is Mora, and Mora is is great when working in tandem with a tank that takes a lot of damage but still pushes aggressively. My best example would be Zarya, as the Mora can self-sustain well enough to keep Zarya up despite the lack of shield, and her coalescence can deal a ton of damage into a Zarya Graviton to win team fights. Plus, if you watched our counters video, you will know that Mora is hard countered by Ana, and with a Zarya, the bubbles will actually remove the anti pretty consistently. So even when you're playing against your counter, the person you're pocketing will be able to still get healed by you as long as they are aware of the anti. Next up is Orisa, and Orisa's favorite teammate honestly has to be Ana. Ana can keep the Orisa up through a ridiculous amount of damage, which makes her a sustained monster. Her nano can also be combined with Orisa's ult Terra Surge to make it an actually powerful team killer. It should come. As is no surprise for Farah that her best teammate is Mercy. Farah sustaining the air is awful despite being able to remain there forever, so with Mercy following her around, she has her weaknesses shored up and her rockets pack significantly more punch without the damage boost. Next hero is Reaper, and Reaper has some obvious synergies with Lucio since the speed boost can keep him up and chasing the enemy around while they can't escape. Plus, Lucio's wall ride can allow him to catch up to Reaper if he does something like teleport into the enemy backline. Next is Reinhardt, and as mentioned before, Reinhardt really thrives with the Lucio. I just wanted to mention this again because Lucio is really just so good for Rein, but as another option, Ana can also be a great Rein duo. Her nano boost makes his swings that much chunkier and allows for him to be more aggressive. This is of course thanks to the huge damage mitigation that makes him very hard to kill. Next is Roadhog, and Roadhog struggles a lot with damage intake due to his lack of mitigation. Ana Pockets can really make a Roadhog strong, however, as her healing grenade stacks with his self heal to let him get a ton of sudden burst healing. Nano the boost also helps him take much more aggressive fights, and she can also help him with hook targets by using her anti-grenade when she sees him land the hook, which will convert into a lot more frequent picks. Next is Sig, and Sigma can get a ton of value when playing with an Ash player. It seems odd at first, but having the Ash there to play behind his shields and put out a lot of damage to keep the Sig safe from pushes, as well as her ability to headshot targets who have been lifted by Flux, makes this duo a lethal one at times, especially for defending. Next we have Sojourn, and Sojourn I found pairs extremely well with Genji. Genji can push enemies who are weak from Railgun, and an observant Sojourn can always send out a fat body shot to make her Genji have an easy time finishing enemies. Plus, both of their ultimates are powerful enough to win team fights on their own, making it really deadly if they are sure to try to use only one at a time. Next up is Soldier, and Soldier can get a ton of value when working in tandem with an Ana. Ana's nano boost combined with Soldier's visor can really create a deadly ult combo, and using a heal boost nade on a Soldier in his heal pad makes him wildly difficult for the enemy to kill. Our next hero is Sombra, and Sombra can be a really deadly hero on her own, but when combined with a tracer, she gets downright ridiculous. The two of them are capable of setting up on enemy backlines and engaging very suddenly, and when they combine their damage, it pretty much makes it unbeatable for even the most resistant of characters. Just wait for the Sombra's hack and then focus the same enemy and you're gonna get a ton of picks. Plus, the Sombra hacking health packs in the enemy backline gives you a much more steady flow of heals on Tracer. Our next hero is Sim, and Sim really combines well with a Sojourn. This is because otherwise she is super prone to be encountered, and having a teammate that can provide ranged damage steadily can pull a lot of pressure off of Sim to allow her to play the game more freely. Railgun also lets you set the sim up to easily finish off her targets since her own burst damage is relatively low. This is one of my favorite duos and you can see me regularly playing with my good buddy Stevo running this. Next up is Torb, and Torb also suffers from a pretty clear lack of synergy, but he can definitely help out with a friendly Zarya due to their combined damage being able to bust through shields and allow her to move in quicker. Their ults also combo well for a really nice fight winner. Next up is Tracer, and Sojourn gets along very well with Tracer since Tracer can set up to always be ready to follow up on social 
slow drones been damaged, her slow, or her railgun. Tracer's flanky nature also means that her team will have less frontline damage without her, so having a Sojourn who does a ton of frontline damage help with that is always nice. Next up is Widow, and Widow can get a ton of value from having a friendly Hanzo on her team. Hanzo's sonic arrows allow for Widow to land easy, steady headshots, and his damage is good at busting shields, which may otherwise stop the Widow from being able to hit the enemy team. Next up is Winston, and Winston's favorite character has to undoubtedly be Ana. Are you realizing that Ana is actually a really good duo for a lot of characters? Because I am. Ana keeps Monkey up and allows for him to chase targets and deal a ton of damage while nano boosted. He also can follow up on anti grenades due to his heavy mobility, which which makes them have a lot of good synergy. Wrecking Ball is up next, and Wrecking Ball's best duo may actually be his worst enemy, Sombra. His ability to use hacked health pads to quickly replenish and re-engage from the enemy backline, coupled with Sombra's high damage output, lets Ball commit to fights alongside her and deal tons of damage and get lots of picks. But I gotta warn you again, be very ready for rage with this combo. Next on our list is Zarya, and Zarya's best friend is definitely going to be Lucio. Lucio gives Zarya the much needed speed boost to chase down enemy targets and keep them within her range of fire. It obviously also helps her escape when she finds herself in a bad situation, and the boop doubles down to help with this. Zen is our final character in the list, and honestly, his best teammate is probably Baptiste. Bap's lamp and his heavy healing allows for the Zen to survive dives, and his window lets the Zen put out a ton of damage straight down the choke. Plus, between lamp and trance, this support combo gives a ton of sustain to their team, and their damage is enough to pick up the slack when their DPSs start falling behind. And there you have it, one solid duo choice for each character in the game of varying value. You. Some of these are obviously better choices than the others, so if you'd like to maybe see a video where I pick the 5 best, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you again soon, take care and peace.